All right, so let's go ahead and see what's coming towards the collective. Um, as I was shuffling, though, the Ace of Cups and the Three of Wands came. So something somebody's been waiting for, like new love. Somebody's been waiting for something to come in, like new love to come in or like patiently, like you've been waiting for something better. Okay, let's see what Zodiacs we have. We have Aries. You've been waiting on something better and it's coming. We have Pisces. And we have Sagittarius. And at the bottom, we have Virgo, okay? So let's see what's coming towards the collective. I did pre-shuffle, but I'm going to give one quick shuffle. Well, you know, one of each and a cut. And we're going to see what's coming towards the collective for my Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, and Virgo placements. Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, like, you have something new coming in. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and a tower. It's coming in very unexpectedly. I need you to stay open-minded about this, okay? I need you to stay open-minded about this, but I also need you to, like, honor your boundaries as well, because that's important. Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Star card. Wow. There is something... There's like, okay, somebody's about to tell you something that they've been keeping from you, like a secret. This is somebody that I don't think you've been waiting for this person specifically, but you have been waiting for something to come in. And somebody's about to, it's unexpectedly coming. Somebody's been holding back information from you, but something feels right now. Like something feels like the right time, like the star card, something feels aligned. What is coming towards the collective spirit? For my Virgo, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius placements. You have the three of wands. I told you something you've been waiting for is coming in. Seven of pentacles. Okay. Oh, wow. Something you've been investing in. Four of cups. Something you've been fantasizing about. Five of pentacles. The knight of wands. The death card. Scorpio energy. The two of wands. I'm sorry. The two of pentacles and the ten of wands. And the eight of swords. This has been heavy on your mind. I don't know if you've been worried about whether or not someone specific was coming towards you or if something was going to be revealed to you or told to, or told to you, but it is, you have to, but you're stay open minded because something about this is very transformational energy for you. Like it's going to change things. It seems a little reckless though. So be cautious about that. And this was definitely something that was being kept from you without a doubt. You're going to have options. You're going to, I don't know. It kind of feels like you're going to be letting go of something. Ten of Wands and a Death Card. We're going to have to go to part two.